to the Late Late Show with Moa. Tonight we have three guests on the show. The first we have the award-winning author Ernest Hemingway. Hemingway is originally from Illinois and was recently awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in Stockholm for his mastery of Akron. Give a warm welcome to the author Ernest Hemingway. So Hemingway, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How does it feel to have won the Nobel Prize Awards? Well, the feeling is unexplainable. I mean, just being nominated is a tremendous honor, but actually winning is amazing. The nominees are not revealed until 10 years after the awards, so your opponents for the awards will not be revealed until 1964. But did you suspect you would be nominated? No, not at all. It came as a complete surprise. So, in your opinion, what makes a good author? Well, I definitely think that a good author draws from his own experiences. What you do in your lifetime affects the way you view the world. And if you let that reflect in your writing, it creates a certain authenticity. That is why I like to write about top characters that circle with society. I identify with them, and I think that is why my stories are a success. Okay. What experiences in your life do you draw most from? Well, the First World War is an event that affected my life the most. Can you tell me more about that? Sure. I was in a volunteer ambulance unit in the Italian army, where I got hit by a bomb in the field and had to be sent back home. When I returned to the US, I was decorated by the Italian government for my service and bravery in the war. But what made me return to America so difficult was that my partner at the time decided to leave me for an Italian army as veteran. Wow, that's terrible. Are there any experiences that even come close to that time in your life? Well, I went to Europe to cover the Greek Revolution for a job as a journalist. Um, and I have to say that my time there has definitely influenced and inspired my writing in some way. Oh, nice. Now, you've written many books in your career. What are you most proud of? Well, I'm very proud of my first important work, The Sun Also Rises even though my most popular book is probably For Women Without Clothes. Although I have to be honest about my Barfet Mini Six Word Short Story will always have a special place in my heart. What do you think would be your profession if you weren't an author? Well, my father always wanted me to be a doctor, but I never liked the idea of furthering my education. I mean, I got my first job in a newspaper straight out of high school. And I worked at various newspapers until I made it as an author. So if I'm being honest, I really don't know what I would be doing if it weren't for my writing. Okay. Can you tell me something about your family life? Sure. I was born into my family as a second child. I was raised as a twin sister to my older sister, Marceline, for the first five years of my life. It was an unpleasant experience, but I think it really influenced my personality today. But I had five siblings, so as you can imagine, it was a busy household. So, what about your personal life? Well, I had four wives, and with them three children, but I'm now married to Mary Welsh Hemingway. Okay, it looks like our time is up, so thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. And next is Merlin Monroe. Give applause. Woo the show tonight in morning because a former guest of mine and a dear friend has died. Ernest Hemingway took his own life by shooting himself on July 2nd last in his house in Idaho. Hemingway lived an eventful life and endured many tragedies in his lifetime. For example, his wife unexpected death in a plane crash and his clinical depression and bipolar disorder. Ernest Hemingway left this earth too early and many theories have risen about his untimely death having something to do with his alleged cooperation with the FBI. He was one of a kind that had great heart and personality and stole thousands of hearts through his books. He will be remembered by everyone who has read any of his books and by generations of readers to come. 
leave you tonight on a low note, but we will see you again next week on a high note. Thank you. In memory of Ernest Miller Hemingway, born July 21st, 1899, died July 2nd, 1961. Every man's life ends the same way. It is only how he lived and how he died that distinguish one man from the other.